arrests and charges adding up for the man who lives among the trees on Bees Ferry Road west of the Ashley. 43 year old William Whitfield was arrested last Thursday between Bees Ferry Road and Sanders Road for willfully burning lands of another. The city of Charleston Police Department arrived after the St. Andrews Fire Department was investigating smoke that was drifting through the woods and across Bees Ferry. Live 5's Emily Johnson has been keeping an eye on Whitfield's charges over the last few months, and she tells us more about his recent arrest. Emily? Roth and Anne, if you live here in West Ashley, you've probably heard of the concerns surrounding William Whitfield and his continuing arrests in the woods behind me on Bees Ferry Road. The incident report from last Thursday states that Whitfield purposely lit the base of a tree on fire and left that fire unintended for an unknown amount of time. Last Thursday marks Whitfield's seventh arrest within the last year, adding up to almost 20 arrests for him over the last decade. Some of the incidents include trespassing, vandalization, drug violations, setting trees on fire, cutting them down and throwing trees at moving cars on Bees Ferry. The property he was living on when arrested on Thursday is owned by Bear Island LLC. Whitfield told police that he has not been in contact with the company to seek permission to reside on, set fires or burn their property. Nearby residents first shared their concerns with me back in October, and although they hope Whitfield can get the help that he needs, they say this is becoming a public safety concern. Are they just going to all go to jail? You're going to keep letting them out on the street, and then it's the community that has to deal with it, and that's not safe for us. That's not safe for them. I mean, and then I also see more crime with community members in their houses. They're going to protect their houses. They're going to protect their children. Whitfield is still being held at the Al Cannon Detention Center with his bond set at $100,000. This is the most expensive bond that has been set for Whit Whitfield in the course of his criminal history. We'll also hear from a criminal justice professor at 7 o'clock about what can be done in instances like this. Reporting live in West Ashley, Emily Johnson, Live 5 News. Now, as for Whitfield's continued arrest, the Charleston Police Department released the following statement, and it reads in part, we are optimistic that the coordinated efforts from the available resources, both at the city level and within the criminal justice system, will find a sustainable solution for the involved individual and the surrounding community.